Welcome back everybody to my channel. Today we are working with Yalisa Hair. And before I begin, I am naturally Ken Ken. I'm always bad at like intros, but I'm working on it. Today we have a 22 inch. Honestly, I feel like it's a lot longer than that because this thing is long and you guys will see that later. But we have a 22 inch 13 by four body wave frontal that we're working with today. And it's absolutely gorgeous. So in this segment, I'm gonna show you guys how I bleach the knots and I'm using the Salon Care bleaching powder and developer. And what I'm doing right now is I'm mixing it into an icing material. You don't want it to be too watery and you don't want it to be too cakey. If it's too watery, it's gonna literally seep into the knots and bleach the actual hair. Um, you don't want that. And you don't want it too, too thick because then you're not gonna be able to spread it. So as you can see now, I'm pressing the edges back and I'm spraying got to be spray on the lace so that it can create a barrier between the lace and the hair. Did I say that right? Yeah, it creates a barrier between the lace and the hair so that dye doesn't get on the hair at all because we do not want over bleach knots at all. So yeah. this is what your lace will look like when your knots are done bleaching so in this segment of the video I keep saying segment of the video in this part of the video I'm taking my 70% alcohol and guys this part is extremely important because if you have oily skin if you have anything like makeup on your skin you want to make sure you go in with alcohol to clean that up because it's really going to increase the life of your installs so I always go in with 70% alcohol it works for me my wigs last so much longer when I use alcohol. And as you can see, I'm gonna show y'all what I'm doing. I'm doing a ball cap right now. This is just a ball cap from the beauty supply store and I'm just laying that down. As you can see on the side of my ears, I cut a small slit so that I can like fit my ears in. You don't wanna make the slit too big because you don't want it to stretch to the point where you can't glue the sides down. And I'm using my favorite glue ever. This is the Bold Hold Active Glue. This glue, it claims to where, you know, you can, it's, it's waterproof. It makes your installs waterproof so you can swim with this. I've never done that because I'm not playing around. You know, these installs take a minute to do and your girl is not messing her hair up. But no, I'm just laying my bald cap down with this glue. And I'm putting the glue very, very close to my edges. Not touching my edges, but I'm putting it very, very close so that I can lay the wig down a little bit past my edges and you guys will see what I'm talking about later on in the video. Also, whenever you're putting makeup on a bald cap, you always wanna seal it with some sort of hairspray to make sure that the makeup doesn't seep onto the wig. lay any wig down make sure you're protecting that scalp and that skin sis we do not do our skincare routines for no reason please please protect your skin please so I really felt like this portion of the video could be helpful for all the big head girlies out there because I have a huge head so as you can see I slid it little slits with where the lace is where when it when it gets to the point where you're getting to the big section of the lace you want to stop cutting because you don't want to cut all the lace off and as you can see it fit on my head perfectly after that as long as your wig comes a little bit past your ears you are perfectly fine um if you guys want a more in-depth video on how you can fit a wig a smaller wig on a bigger head let me know i can go into more detail i just wanted to show you guys that just in case you have a wig that may not fit you 
just know you will have to sew down the sides of the wig so that you'll be able to put your hair into updos or ponytails just know that in this part of the video i'm going to show you guys how to lay a frontal if you've never laid a frontal ever a day in your life so you want to make three two slits right here one to where you can lay the middle down and then both of your sides down um, as of right now I'm just taking the glue in the middle and I'm applying three layers of glue to my hair also when you guys are applying your glue make sure you're letting it dry completely clear in between the layers when you do that it helps your hair not be so gunky and it helps your lace lay better without being sticky and just messy it'll just help you overall and as you can see I'm taking the blow bly dryer <laughs> I'm taking the blow dryer and I'm using cool air to kind of get it to like speed up a little bit faster this glue actually dries extremely fast so I haven't had an issue with it I'm just you know it was late at night I was hungry and I'm like girl we gotta go we gotta get this wig on and I gotta go <laughs> when you're laying your wig down do not be scared to bring the hairline a little bit over the lace only because guys i'm such a stickler when it comes for like stickiness and messiness especially when you're trying to install your hair when you don't in put the lace all the way over the hairline you're it, it's just gonna be too much of a cleanup trying to get a cotton swab and taking alcohol to clean it up when you can just cut the excess lace and hair off and i pluck this wig deep enough to where if I had to you know cut a little bit of hair out I'm, it's still gonna look like I have plug knots and honestly with this hair I didn't even have to do much plucking honestly I was about to forget to pluck this hair and I had remember oh crap I didn't pluck the hair is this wig is just bomb it's just perfect and as you can see I'm sealing it in with my hot comb and, and then I'm taking warm heat with my blow dryer to just seal the deal and as you can see, look at that. Like it already looks like it's doing something. Um, so yeah, I'm taking a blow dryer and I'm gonna take my headband that I got from Yolisa Hair and just tie that on. So as you can see here, I am cutting off the lace and I'm taking my scissors again. Honestly, I feel like it would have been easier if I used a razor, but I could not find my razor for some reason at this point. So I was using my scissors and I was going in zigzag motions to make sure the lace was rugged and it wasn't so perfect till you couldn't really see the lace. Um, when I did cut off the lace, it did have a little bit of a, you know, you can see a little bit of the white left on the lace but that's okay you can completely fix that it was nothing um but yeah i just want to let you guys know don't fret if you see that white line <laughs> on your wigs you can easily fix that with makeup and we're gonna go in with spritz anyway to completely melt this wig so that's not a problem So we are getting to the fun part. We are about to style the wig and no, I am not done laying this lace. So don't think, girl, what you gonna do about that little ashiness around your edges? Like, girl, I'm gonna handle that. Please give me some time. But no, <laughs> I'm just playing. Um, I'm going to do a deep side part on this wig. I've been on Pinterest. I've been wanting to do this style so, so bad. And I'm like, yo, Lisa, y'all literally made my dream come true because I get to do this deep side part. Um. It's going to be a deep side part with baby hairs going back, as you can see in the thumbnail. But yeah, I'm I'm just taking my time to really part out this part and make it as crisp as possible. And my best friend right now is going to be the hot comb and the wax stick. Um, and I'm laying out my baby hairs, as you can see, because I want to get those out the way so that I know where this part needs to be centered completely. The key to getting any laid and flat install is to just take your time. Honestly, I went back and forth. I had to edit a lot of the clips out of me just taking my comb and reparting my hair over and over and over until I got my desired part and my desired baby hairs because baby hairs are always the hardest for me for some reason. So, girl, you just you just got to take your time and just be patient. It's going to work with you. But 
honestly with this hair i had no issues you know parting it the lace was super duper good the hair on this wig is absolutely gorgeous it was really really dense they said it was a 180 percent density but honestly i feel like it's a lot denser than that it's super duper natural it was easy to work with it was just perfect but as you can see here, I'm taking my spritz on my finger and I'm just, you know, laying, putting the spritz on the par parts of the lace that are a little bit on the wider side. And I'm spraying that down and eventually I'm gonna put my band back on and I'm gonna actually sit under the dryer so that it can like melt 100%. So yeah guys, I just took some of my cheese silk infusion and I brushed that through my hair just to blow dry it because it was still a little bit wet. Lisa. as y'all can see like i'm in love with this hair like i'm just looking at it and it's just it's still in my head now as i'm doing this voiceover but it's absolutely gorgeous you guys i recommend going to purchase this wig and you guys know i don't promote anything that i wouldn't buy with my own money so y'all need to go cop this hair for real yo lisa is the truth um by by all means like for real go get this hair it's super duper pretty and I'm more than likely gonna be wearing this like for a minute now. This is like my go-to. <laughs> So I am going to be sectioning off my hair to silk press this. I didn't want to do any curls this time. I really wanted to see how straight this hair can get. So I took my flat iron and my flat iron gets to 450. I put it at the highest temperature and I'm showing you guys how slow I'm actually going because I'm actually going to speed it up. Uh, but this hair straightened out really, really well. I only had to go through with one pass. I typically only straighten hair whether I'm doing somebody's natural hair or whether I'm doing a wig with one pass because there's no need to do multiple passes on hair. And let me tell y'all, like this hair got very, very silky. It did not need a lot to get, you know, straight. Of course, it's body wave hair, but still like I've dealt with some weave to where the mess would not straighten good enough. You would have to go through with a couple of passes to get it smooth. And this hair only needed one pass. And honestly, blow drying it honestly got it straight enough high key like you could have honestly wore a, a really nice blowout but it i went i wanted to go in and straighten it a little bit more and it came out beautiful that's a scalpiana like oh my god y'all that spritz is the truth like if you have some ashy lace just take some spritz put a blow dryer to it and you'll be set but here I am cutting out my baby hairs. I kind of, I ended up curling my baby hairs downward this time, but I ended up going back and curling them upwards because it helped it lay a little bit better. Um, so yeah, guys, baby hairs, these are another thing that you just have to be patient on. I'm not going to talk too much. I'm really going to let you guys look and see what I do because I feel like it'll be better to look than for me to sit here and explain. But yeah, we're about to do our baby hairs and I'm going to shut up.
it's giving baddie like it's doing them for me like I'm a girl. Like, who told me to snap like, oh. girl. Excuse my goofiness. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys have not already clicked the link in my description box below, you guys are doing yourself a disservice because this hair is bomb. Like, A1, I had no issues with it. Um, it's super duper silky, luscious, it's very, very dense. I appreciate everyone that tuned in as well. Please leave me a like, subscribe to my channel so I can post more great content for you guys. And thank you for all the love you guys have been showing me on my last post. And I will see you guys next video.